Hello y'all! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through some of these boxes and showing y'all some things for our house. I'm going to give y'all an updated house tour. So you're going to get lots of house inspo and updates. This is like our sink faucet, some light fixtures, decorations, hardwood floors. I'm so excited. So we're going to go ahead and I'm sitting outside yeah, today. Yeah, we're sitting outside today because it is a beautiful day here in Alabama. And I was just like, I want to come outside and do this video. So I hope that you're able to see the colors and all of the things I'm about to show y'all. Um, because the sun is beaming in on me on the background, but it's just so pretty out here. So y'all bear with me. So I'm going to go through and start sharing with y'all little things. And then we're going to go up to the house and see the updates because they're putting or starting to put the roof on today. And I have already got up. I went to the gym. I was there for an hour with my friend, um, now cousin Brittany. And we did the gym this morning. And then I was going to come home and shoot this video for y'all. So I'm in my workout clothes again. And really I could be in a short sleeve right now. But this is what I already had on. So we're going to go with it. So the first thing that I'm going to share with y'all that Drew and I are deciding on. I'm going to be sharing with y'all lots of graphics too down in the bottom of this video. So y'all can get more of a visual. But is our floors. So we are not going with real hardwoods. First off because they are way too expensive. Do you know how much lumber is right now? And then second off we found this stuff. Oh my gosh, y'all gonna be mad at me, but I don't know any of this stuff, like what it's called. I'm just sharing y'all for the prettiness of it, so I don't know the details. We got this stuff at a local place, and we loved it. It's like waterproof, and um, a lot of people use this in their homes around here, and so this is what we're looking at. This color is one of them. Let's see, can you see that? So, this is the color that I was like really looking for. There was one at Home Depot that I loved. It was either Home Depot or Lowe's. I think it was by like that Allen and Roth. It was way too cheap. It was just water resistant and Drew was just like, we are not getting those. But it's whenever I saw the colors in them, I loved them. It was a wider plank and I like the wider plank, but we did find this one for a really good deal and we loved it. So this is one I think that we're going with. We may go look one more time just to be sure, but this is the style I think we're going for. There was also this one that was a really good deal too. And at first, whenever my mom picked this up and showed it to me, I was like, absolutely not. That is way too white um, or a lighter color wood. And Drew did not want lighter color. Um, I liked the lighter color, Drew did not. So I was like, no, that's too white. But then whenever Drew came over and looked at it, he was like, the plank is wider and I like that. So I started pulling this up on Pinterest. And at first when I show you this, you are going to hate it. Or you may not, you may love it, but. It is very light, but whenever I pulled these up on the internet, on Pinterest, it was absolutely gorgeous and just looked so clean. So I'm going to share with y'all kind of the two pictures of what we're thinking of that these two floors would look like in our house. They're not the exact, they're not the exact same wood floors, but they're just like an idea of like the dark and the light contrast. So this is the other one. So let me know in the comments below, which one do you like better? I like. Drew and I wish that this one was the wider plank and we'd be really happy with this one. But I think for sure now we've decided against this one. But I do love it still. Especially whenever y'all see the pictures. So let me know which one that you like better. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to share with y'all is I haven't really been buying a whole bunch of home decor because I don't know exactly when I'm going to want the new house. But there is a few things that were on my list of things that I wanted and had to have for the new house. And one of them is this sign. So I found it um, somewhere a few months ago, like it was right after Christmas and I loved it, but it was close to a hundred dollars. And I was like, I don't really want to spend that right now. So I just waited and I'm glad that I did because whenever I went out shopping the other day to help um, a client decorate her home, I found this and it was only $50 and I bought it. I got it at Home Goods. So it's this sign right here. And y'all know that song, The Blessings by Carrie Job. Um, this is the Bible verse that that song's written from. And it says, the Lord keep you, wait, and turn it around. You see how big it is? It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Is it the sun that I'm talking about, if you can see it? And I'm sure most of y'all know that song. If not, I'm going to link the song in the description box because I love that song so much. And so when I saw this sign, I knew that I wanted it for our future home. So whenever I take y'all up to the house today, I may bring that sign with me. And even though the like walls aren't put up sheetrock, I want to like hold it in between the place that I'm planning on putting it on the studs so we can see if it's going to fit there. So we'll take the you up there later. The next thing that I want to share with y'all is our Kitchen Island Pendant Lights. We got these... Oh no, I can't remember if we got them at Lowe's or Home Depot. 
always get them mixed up. But we got two of these and I wanted glass pendant lights. If you heard that, that's them working on our house right now. It's loud over here. So here's the glass pendant light and then it has like a brassy color and then the black and I loved it. So we're trying to still figure out like how the house is gonna flow as far as all the light fixtures, but I love these and they are a good price. So we went ahead and grabbed them. We may change them out once we kind of see what the other light fixtures are gonna look like, but this is the kind of like style that I'm thinking. So we're ordering things in little by little. So I'm sharing with y'all all the things that I have right now. Y'all already saw at Christmas time um, a lot of the light mirrors that we had for our bathroom. I'll share a picture of them right here so you can see what the bathroom mirrors are going to look like in the guest and mine and Drew's bathroom. And you can kind of get a visual of what's all going on. So our bathroom, I'm wanting it to be like marble tiles and then quartz countertops that look like marble with gold fixtures, which I'm about to show you, and then like gold mirrors and so it's going to be like marble and gold. So kind of glammy, but adding in the plants and some like wooden textures and stuff to it in the decor. But then in the guest bathroom, I'm wanting it to be black and the marble look. So black and marble floors with the black sink fixtures, black pools, and no gold, no gold in the guest bathroom. And then all gold and marble in our bathroom if that makes sense and so this one is a fixture this is the gold one hold on so this is the gold fixtures and then i want to get gold pools on the cabinets we're gonna have white cabinets and then gold pools so this is the little gold faucet that i have and here is the knob now honestly i wanted to do silver and marble in our bathroom because i know this gold is very trendy and can you believe that my little country husband drew said no go for gold I, he was like it's just as different i like the gold so i was like okay i said well what are you going to do here that goes out of sound is not trendy he said i can change out faucets and stuff really easy so i should have made him like sign a little contract on that but i love the gold i'm excited it's gonna look so pretty. So this is, this one has the H and another one looks just like it and it has the C and this will be our bathroom faucets. And I got these off of Amazon. I love them. This is the fixtures that I got for our guest bathroom. And I love them. They're black and matte. They look just like the ones that's going in our bathroom, but they're black and I love these handles more. I wish that ours had the little white porcelain that said hot and cold on it instead of just the engraved letters but I couldn't find a gold one like that, but are these not so pretty? Okay, the next thing I'm gonna put a picture up and this is our bathtub and I love it so much. It is exactly what I envisioned. I fit perfectly in it in our old um, home that we used to live in. The bathtub was really long and I'm a short person and it didn't have a slant to it. So I feel like I always felt like I was sinking to the bottom of the tub and I just could not get comfortable in it. So this one, I was like, I want it to be shorter for my body size so my feet can touch the end of it. And then I also want it to have the slant so I can get comfortable. So you can see that I was very comfortable in here. I fit like a glove. I cannot wait to relax and take baths in that thing. I'll have to return this. And then also what we got it for a really good deal from Home Depot, it was on sale. So there's the bathtub and this is the faucet that I got for the bathtub. I'll put a little picture so you can see it all put together. Oh, look, you can see yourself. So this is the bottom plate of it. And here's like the faucet part of it. It has the little acrylic that I love or the porcelain. And then also it has, uh, well, there's a little part that this, this sits on like this. So everybody has been picking it up and saying hello. So this is my little bathtub faucet. And like I said, I'll put a picture so you can see what that looks like. This was so exciting to get. And y'all been finding deals on this stuff. I'm honestly, I've been looking at reviews at everything on Amazon. I really don't want to recommend this stuff to y'all because I have not personally tried it out yet. But I always get on Amazon, I search for what I want, and I make sure that it has lots of reviews. And for the most part, it needs to have, probably have like a four or four and a half stars the least before I invest in it. So this was a really good price. 
And again, I'm not going to link any of this stuff because I haven't personally used it yet and I don't want y'all to get it and it be like junk. So we shall see. Fingers crossed because this stuff is gorgeous and I got it for a good hey, deal. We save the best for last and Maddie wanted to come out here with me. I can't get her to go inside. She is loving it outside, aren't you? See, it feels so good out here, mom. Oops. Terry, hey. hey. We gotta get a bath. Oh, that's one thing I need to put on my to-do list. We gotta get her a hair appointment to get her hair cut. And y'all, they're really getting it over there now. So you're gonna hear a lot of hammering, but that just means that progress is happening. So this is probably my favorite thing to share with y'all because it was a gift and gifts are so nice. So this company reached out to me, they're called Ernest, and I'm gonna link them down below. Y'all have a discount code with me. They have beautiful, gadgets for like your kitchen like kitchen faucets and bathroom faucets and shower heads i mean this stuff is gorgeous and then also i have something to share with y'all in a later video i'm gonna do like a spring like decorate miss althea's back porch or just kind of spruce it up and that's whenever i'm gonna open the box i'm gonna tell y'all this first to a outdoor couch sectional and chair that they sent me also and i am so excited to be able to use that in our new home i have the perfect space for it i'm going to share with y'all right here just a little sneak peek of what it looks like then we'll open it up later once it warms up and we it like really gets warm here and we're able to do really like plant and stuff because all of our plants are dying so we got to spruce that up and that's whenever i'll break that out but i will go ahead and share with y'all what the couch looks like and the chair and then i'll share with y'all whenever we get up to the house later today where i'm planning on putting that section on so we'll open that on a later day but right now i'm going to share with y'all this that they sent me and y'all i was going to tell you it's fancy even my husband whenever i showed it to him he said that is fancy i told him about this and he forgot all about it so i showed it to him and he was like that is fancy where did you get that and i told him it was a gift from Ernest because they were telling me how much they love my channel and all she is so sweet i love talking to her on instagram and she's from asia by the way how exciting is that a little alabama girl talking to someone from asia that is exciting so she said that they love my youtube channel and they wanted to gift me this and then give y'all a discount code and was hoping that they would have something that worked perfect in my house and oh my gosh it is so pretty so when i showed it to drew he said you better advertise the piece out of that excuse my french but that's what he said he said because that is fancy so here it is it is this beautiful faucet that's going to go in our kitchen so our kitchen is going to have white if you follow me on instagram you already like see all kind of like pictures and updates because i share a lot over there on my stories it's just easier to do day by day so if you want to get like all the inside scoop of what we're ordering and what we're doing every day um with the house and then other people's updates then go follow me over on instagram i'll link my instagram account down in below so you can keep up with me and what all we got our kitchen is going to have a black kitchen island with quartz countertops that looks like marble and then white cabinets um everywhere else the white cabinets are going to have gold knobs in the no wait the white cabinets in the kitchen are going to have black knobs or pools and then the black island is going to have like a gold brass on it Hey, I don't even remember what I said. My father-in-law had to leave to go check on what they're doing at our house up there. So he's been, he works from home. So he's been helping us look after what all's going on and what's happening while Drew's at work. Because I have no idea if they're doing stuff right up there or not. So I'm glad that he does. Anyway, so Drew was just as excited about the sink as I was. And I love that it looks antique because it has this little porcelain knob. And then I love the detail. When I saw it in the picture, I did think it was all black. So whenever I saw that it was blue on there, I was like, oh no, is that gonna be okay with our kitchen? But I mean, it really is. It is so pretty. Even the blue makes it even look a little bit more antique and vintage to me. Look how pretty this is. And then it, so you take it off the thing, spray your sink out. This is hard to do whenever it's not like mounted in the sink, but I'm gonna have like a white porcelain farmhouse sink. And so, this is going to just complete our kitchen and we are so excited so thrilled and just so overly joyed that they reached out to me and wanted to collab i thought that was so precious of them like i said i love talking to her on instagram she's so nice so i'm going to link my code down below i'm hoping that we can collab again we've been talking about more things because they have lots of other things on their website that i'm loving bathroom faucets and just little things like that they do have furniture and stuff the last time i looked at the furniture for me was very modern and y'all know that i'm not a modern girl but there is some cute stuff on their website if you're into the modern stuff so definitely go check out their website and you can go get a discount code for one of these bad boys
And then we'll come back later this afternoon whenever these workers leave and go up there because I don't really want to film while the workers are up there. That'll be a little awkward. Okay, y'all, I'm standing in our bonus room and I'm shaking right now. I'm having to hold on to something. So this is our bonus room. And they're working on the roof. I think it's all, oh yeah, that's where the stairs will be. And I think that there's gonna be a closet or a bathroom right here. And there's the ladder that I came up. I told them they're gonna have to move that ladder to right there for me to come down because I don't wanna step over that. I don't think you can see how far it is down. So I'm gonna give y'all, whoops, a tour of the inside too because all that is new since the last time that y'all were on here and I gave y'all a tour of this. Look at this. He said that they framed this up to stand up here to do that. Absolutely not. This does not even look sturdy to stand on. So all this, that's, I was wondering whenever I passed by this this morning, I was wondering what all this was but they just use all this to be able to stand on top of it to do the roof work. <laughs> you make it look easy. So here's the house. The wind might be bad today. That's where I just was up there. So we're gonna give a tour through the front door Starting out the front door and going all the way through. So here's the foyer. See the walls up. And then it'll be, is this 10 foot ceilings in the foyer? Yep. 10 foot ceilings. And then, and here will be a vaulted ceiling. And then the fireplace goes here with the built-ins. And then in here, is a doorway and it's a hallway and we're gonna put like a little light on this wall this will be a wall put a little light right here like a little museum light and then have pictures or picture collages there and then this is a guest bedroom and it'll have 10 foot ceilings and then this is the closet and then going in to here is the bathroom this is a jack and jill this won't be here, obviously. So this would be the sinks that go right here, the double sinks. And then this is a linen closet. And then this is like a door that opens up so it closes off from the sinks and then the potty and the bathtub area. So this is, oh my gosh, it's gonna fall. This is the potty. This is, it could have been another linen closet, but I think I'm gonna put like a cabinet here to give it a little bit more character in the bathroom and then this is the shower tub combo and we're gonna come out of here and go through this hallway and this is all the same as the other side so it's very symmetrical and I love it so again let's go back out so you can see I hope I'm not making y'all dizzy I don't feel like there's any way to do this video without making y'all dizzy though because it's too many see-through walls so Again, there's a hallway over there, and then a hallway over here. The museum light with the pictures, and then the uh, um, bathroom, and then go into the closet. And this one's only nine foot ceilings. There's our cows, and then another closet. Does that make sense, this part of the house? Okay, and then you walk out of here, and this all is the living room area. There's the foyer. We're gonna have big double doors. And then this, this would be a full wall. The plan did not call for a full wall. It was supposed to be all open, but I wanted the dining room like to itself. And I really wanted more wall space and to kind of separate some rooms. So um, that's one thing that I regretted in our other home is that we, it was all open. So right whenever you walked in, you saw everything at one time and I wanted to have more walls so you could turn the corner and be surprised by each room. So this is 
the dining room. Big dining room. I'm gonna put my chandelier that used to be over my dining room table in the old house in here with my table. And then I'll put a big black hutch right here. And I think I'll even have room to put something on this side too, maybe like a buffet table. So I wanna store like my dishes and stuff in here, seasonal dishes and the black hutch. And then over here do, I could even put, do like a cute little fireplace right here. That would be cute. And then we have the double windows. And then this is the living room area. And then I think my Christmas tree is going to go right there. And this would be a tall door that we're going to paint black. And it's three-fourths window. And then the bottom is just like a little panel. And then this is windows, almost ceiling to floor windows. And, oh, I meant to bring my picture up here. The picture that I was sharing with y'all definitely fit on that wall. That's where I want to put my Lord bless you and keep you picture on this wall. And then we turn around we have this group of people and we have the kitchen so this is the island and then i told you i wasn't going to go into more detail so the kitchen sink will go there and the refrigerator will go here and then we have a walk-in pantry and we walk into the pantry this side will be all shelves all the way up with the food and then this side will have a countertop and cabinets with a wine cooler that's going to hold my nature red and then like my coffee creamers and stuff there's also going to be a coffee bar area some drawers and things like that my coffee and my blender and stuff will go here and then it'll be shelves the rest of the way up and then going this way you're going to this entrance and there's stairs going up to the bonus room where we just were there's a door here to go out into the garage area. And then you turn this way. And this is like a mudroom area. This wall. This goes into my Andrew's bedroom. And this goes into the laundry room. So laundry room is washer, dryer, and a sink area. With cabinets above it. And then a shelf above the washer and dryer. And then this goes outside. We'll go out there in a minute. And then coming in here, and we're going to have, I think, our bed on this wall. My fireplace I used to have in my other bedroom. I'm going to paint it black and put it there. We have tray ceilings here. And we're going to do a technique that looks like, um, what's it called? The coffered ceilings, like the tic-tac-toe ceilings, I call them, right here in between. Well, let me see if I can back it up. And then... This is zoomed out, might help a lot more actually. And then going in here is the doorway to our bathroom. It's a little messy in here. Can't really move around. So bathtub, shower, Drew sink, my sink, toilet. And then there should be a door to the toilet and then closet area. Now we leave out of the bedroom and go outside. This is the big patio. So this will all be covered. So the original patio was, see down there, supposed to line up right here. And all this was supposed to be the patio. And we added on all of this. Because we're going to put a big, um, like A-frame covered porch area right here and in the middle of it will have a chandelier on the end of it right here is where the outdoor fireplace is going to be bricked all the way up the tv on here and then that sectional and the chair that i was telling y'all about is going out here beside the fireplace and it's going to be like a little living space out here like living room area this, this is going to get confusing so the a-frame is going to go like this there'll be a post like here there and on the two ends so the a-frame is only going to go like this so this area is going to be all open so where the a-frame ends up here we're going to connect string lights from the a-frame to the side of the house does that make sense so this would be kind of like a courtyard area i guess we weren't gonna do concrete here but we were afraid if we just left it it would be a muddy mess so we concreted it so i think that i'm gonna do like potted plants up against the house um, big pot of plants and the string lights and then put like my little bistro set I think is what I'm going to do and then that's going to be Drew's outdoor kitchen area and then right here I want to put a long 
six, probably even eight, like an eight person table right here. And then we're gonna put ceiling fans here and can lights. Oh, and I forgot to tell you in the A-frame, we're gonna put four can lights, the chandelier, and then on the corners will be two fans that blow in. And then y'all go in to there to go back into the living room. I hope that all made sense to y'all. And then out here, hopefully we'll have an in-ground pool out here one day, fenced in and all that's the dream. And then we're gonna have like a little walkway area somehow to all of this, which is a hot mess. Y'all just gonna have that vision with me. So we got to keep my crepe myrtle that blooms white. So that's exciting. So um, we'll have landscape all around here, but then I wanna have like a walking area out here to my garden area. And I'm ready for it to stay warm like it is today because I want to get out here and really work on this. So this looks really good by the time that we move into our house. So that's one less project I have to do whenever we move in. So we're going to come out here a lot. I'll just go ahead and show you out here. Um, you remember right behind our double wide where we had that pergola that we had? um with our fireplace out there you'll have to go check out my other videos it's too hard to explain so it'll be like a pergola right here that's got my two climbing farmer dream roses on it which are right here i replanted them in here for now and then it'll be a, a little fire pit area that's right here in between the two pear trees have blueberry bushes out there and uh, this will all be like that's some roses and i want to tie those up so like all this will be full of roses this fence line and then I want to do lots of stuff right here to this fence line and then all my potted and then all of my raised beds will have like our vegetables and peppers and stuff like that it's just a hot mess right now I threw everything in here to get it away from the house and where we were building and then this won't stay here I need to clean it up and I don't know where it'll go I'm gonna move it around in here somewhere though this is another rose that'll climb up this and Look at this. This is crazy. This stuff has taken off. This is those chives. Oh, they're gonna bloom purple pretty soon. So I need to get in here and clean all this out, but I'm waiting for it to really just get warm again. And then this, what has happened? It's like came off, that's weird. So this is Confederate Jasmine and this will be evergreen and I planted it last year so this year it'll really take off and cover all of this to give it kind of like a privacy out here and then it blooms a pretty white flower that smells so good um, and then we have that tumped over so the water didn't freeze in it and bust it but that'll go back and the hammock won't stay here and we'll do like some more like there's a climbing rose so we'll do more stuff around the fence line to make it look better and clean out the beds but Think of like a little cottage garden back here that's gonna have fruits and vegetables and herbs. So it'll be right beside the house. I'm really excited about all of it. Okay, y'all, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all liked all the updates that we're having with the house. This is like the first really big one that I've shared with y'all and we are so excited. And a lot of y'all have said that y'all are so excited with us. So we're so thankful to have y'all along with us on our new adventure. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be doing all kinds of fun updates on the house, taking y'all with us, picking out things. We have to pick out brick and make sure we picked out the right floors and the tile and the cabinets and the granite. So. Once we finish all that and able to move in, then we're gonna be doing lots of decorate with me's like in each single room of the house. And then of course for seasonal stuff, everybody keeps asking when we're gonna get moved in. I'm hoping before end of summer, but we're not really sure. I'm practicing my patience right now. I don't come up here much because I feel like the longer that I don't come up here, I feel like the longer that I space it out and don't come up here, whenever I do come up here, I feel like a lot gets done. So I'm saying busy. So I'm not like impatient with the house building because I knew it was going to take a long time, but I'm just enjoying every little step of it. Hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye y'all.